Yo, what's up YouTube? I am Jamesy, and for today's video, I'll be reviewing one of Popeyes' newest menu items, the Wicked Shrimp. Now for $5 at Popeyes, you get the Wicked Shrimp box, and inside the Wicked Shrimp box, we have a biscuit, but I'm not really a fan of the biscuit, if I'm being honest, so we're just gonna chuck that and not talk about it. You also get a side of fries, and by the way, Popeyes fries are some of the best fast food fries. All facts, no cap. And it wouldn't be a Wicked Shrimp box without our Wicked Shrimp. And for this, you actually get a pretty good deal. You actually get 14 of these little bite-sized pieces. So just on first glance, along with the fries and the biscuits, it looks like a pretty good deal. Now what makes these different from the regular shrimp is that they're seasoned with a bunch of herbs and spices from onions to garlic to scion peppers and I believe a little bit of sriracha bay leaves. Now as far as looks and texture goes, it's coated with a nice golden brown batter, but it still feels squishy enough to enjoy the bite. Now some of you already know, I'm not the biggest fan of Popeye's service and I can go on and on about how they need to improve, but that's not what we're here for. I love their food and I haven't had a menu item that has yet to disappoint me, so I'm expecting this to actually be really good. Okay, and lastly, it came with some smoky garlic tartar sauce, but we need to talk about this, Popeye's. What is this? What is this? Hold on. What is this? There's barely any in here. It's maybe a fourth of the way filled. I mean, I'm not really a fan of garlic seasoning and sauces in general, but I think my money deserves at least more than a fourth of seasoning. Come on now, this is actually ridiculous. But anyways, I'm just gonna try it because that's all we can do in life is try. Popeyes, you could try a little bit harder if I'm being honest, but you guys aren't here to hear me rant about Popeyes. But I'm gonna go ahead and just eat one plain and then I'll get to trying it with some garlic tartar sauce because at this point I'm gonna need to spare what I have. All right, so here we go. It was good. It was a nice easy bite, like I said. The batter's really good. I mean, Popeyes, you guys know what you're doing when it comes to food. It's just, it's just a service. But here we go for the garlic tartar sauce combo. Put a little bit on there. Okay, that's weird. To me, it kind of tastes like Caesar salad dressing. I mean, I could taste a little bit of garlic, but it tastes similar to the Caesar salad dressing, which I love, but. Yeah. I think the garlic tartar sauce definitely does bump it up a little bit. I mean, it's still good without it, but the garlic tartar sauce does make it better. And like I said, I'm not really a fan of garlic tartar sauce or garlic flavored and seasoned things, but this works for me. It's pretty good. See, look at this, guys. Like, look at this. Like, I'm already trying to struggle to get some sauce on here. Look at this. I probably use like three, maybe four pieces of shrimp, and I'm already struggling to scrape along the edges. Like, come on, Popeyes. I mean, if you want some early thoughts, I think it's definitely worth it for $5. For 14 pieces, that's actually really good. Right? All jokes aside, that's actually a really good deal. Like, I, like look at, I'm literally just trying to scrape the sauce. Like, come on now. Like, like, I just scraped the edge and it's just that little bit of sauce right there. Come on. Come on, Popeyes. We can do better than this. Basically out. Now when it comes to their chicken, I love using hot sauce. So I'm actually gonna try the shrimp and hot sauce combination. So I got this nice and covered with hot sauce. It's a good combination. I'm telling you, hot sauce and Popeyes are a match made in heaven. Real good. Oh man. I'm actually down to my last piece. Just barely got any hot sauce on it, but. Wicked Shrimp is pretty good. I like it. Okay, so for my overall thoughts, I thought the Wicked Shrimp was actually really good. You have that nice little crunchy bite of the outside batter, but then it's followed by the soft and chewy bites of the shrimp. It's not really spicy like I thought it would be. Instead, it's just really well seasoned. I think for 14 pieces of shrimp for $5, you can't really beat this deal. So I think it's definitely worth it. 
but I would say go ahead and get it for lunch rather than for dinner. My only real negative here is that I didn't get enough garlic tartar sauce, but hopefully that's just me and not you, but it's Popeyes, you never know. So for a final score, the shrimp alone is an eight and a half out of 10, but with the combination of the garlic tartar sauce, I'm actually gonna give it a score of nine out of 10. But all right guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Also comment if you eat your Popeye's biscuits or not. I think it's clear that I don't. But anyways, I've been Jamesy and I'll see you next time. Peace. And if you were curious to know, yes, I did throw the biscuit at the wall and now I do have a mess to clean up. See you guys, peace.